Hi, my name is Sepp. Welcome back to the Corridor channel. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about six tips that I'm going to give you to remove the stress of development for your startup. Now let's get into it. Look, let's be honest. Every time we think about development, we all stress out. There's a lot of ways that you can reduce the stress. Trust us, we work at Corridor. We develop a lot of software. So in that case, I want to teach you guys how we manage our software development processes to make sure that they happen smoothly and more efficiently throughout the process of the development itself. At Corridor, we develop multiple products at the same time. So it is critical for us to follow these steps that I'm about to share with you to really be able to manage the customer itself, but also be able to manage our dev team and our product management team. That's critical in the process because communication becomes really, really watered down when you have too many people. Not everyone knows how to communicate differently. You have a lot of different characteristics in each team. For example, your development team is more of a straight shooter, I need to understand exactly what you're trying to do, otherwise I don't like being creative. Then you got the product managers who love being creative and UI, UX guys that also love being creative. So in order to overcome all these challenges, we're gonna get right into tip number one, create a routine. When you're creating a routine with your team, it helps them understand what is gonna happen throughout the day. For example, with our dev team, we always have what we call a stand-up. A lot of teams do this with the development team where they are able to communicate with each other what they're working on and what their biggest blockers are. Something like this is not necessary with the marketing team or perhaps the UI UX team. So that's why you need to create a routine that works with your team and make sure that that line of communication is always open for everybody. Tip number two is to always take breaks. You would be surprised how effective taking breaks can be during either marathon of coding or even working hard on a special copyright. So at the end of the day, when you're taking breaks, you need to just go for a walk, understand that your brain just needs that shutdown moment to be able to recap what you've done so that you're able to be more effective when you're back at it. I usually take 40 minute uh, sprints with a 15 minute break every single time. There are times that I miss that 15 minutes break, but I always go for a walk in the afternoon to just clear my head and just get an understanding of what needs to be done next. Tip number three is communication, communication, communication. I cannot tell you how important it is to communicate with your team at all times. At Corridor, there's no such thing as over communication. So it is so important for you to consistently keep a communication line open with your entire team and have your dev team be able to communicate with marketing and marketing to be able to communicate with the dev team. There's a lot of data that they have that is useful for them and vice versa. Communication is the number one thing to have success when you're developing your software. Tip number four, do not be afraid to ask for help. A lot of times entrepreneurs or startups will focus on, I have to be able to do this. I'm the team lead, I have to be able to do this. That is so wrong. You need to understand where your pitfalls are and what your strengths are. You need to be able to say, I need help in this area and where you succeed the most and really focus on that. At the end of the day, we all need coaches and we all need to understand what we're good at and what we're bad at and really develop the weaknesses and keep up with our strengths. Tip number five, set realistic goals. That is a huge factor for our entrepreneurs because we are so good at creating unrealistic goals. What I want you to do is really try to focus on what is realistic and what is a realistic timeline. Developers are notorious for giving really poor deadlines because of the fact that they're always ambitious and they always assume that everything is gonna go well. So don't make the same mistake. Try to buffer in some mistake time and make sure that you understand that some goals are achievable and some aren't and don't be disappointed by the end result. Always push, push, push because perseverance is what's gonna take you to the other side. Now, once you're being persistent about your product and your business, tip number six is delegate tasks. You cannot do everything. You have to understand that. It is very important for you to wear multiple hats, but at the same time, you need to be able to be a good manager and be able to delegate tasks accordingly. Always try to understand your team's strengths and your team's weaknesses so that you know exactly who can handle what kind of pressure and be able to thrive under those circumstances. So make sure you understand your team as well as you possibly can 
and delegate tasks accordingly. There are gonna be some things that you're the only one that can do, that is totally fair, we're all there. But there's a lot of things that you try to do when you don't have to do it and there's other people that are willing to do it for you because guess what? Everybody on your team is there for a reason. They're there to be supportive and to try to push the startup to a new levels. So to recap the video, make sure that you create and establish a routine with your team. Set up proper meetings and set up proper routines for your team to follow every single day. Tip number two, take breaks. Give yourself and your brain time to reorganize and refocus on your task that is pressing. Tip number three, there is no such thing as over communication. So make sure you're constantly communicating with your team about every little problem and every situation. That is what's gonna help development progress without the stress. Tip number four, don't be afraid to ask for help. Your team is there to help you. You are a team trying to develop a product. So try to understand that everyone there is there to help. So don't be afraid to ask for it. Tip number five, set real expectations and realistic goals. That is the key to making sure that you don't lose motivation and you continue your grit. Tip number six, delegate your tasks. Do not be afraid to pass on the little tasks to your team because that's what they're there for anyways. Focus on the business, focus on the vision, don't focus on the little stuff. Utilize these six tips that I've given you to reduce and remove the stress factor of development. We do it every single day at Corridor, so I know it works. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know down below. Otherwise, hit that like button, subscribe for more of these episodes on how to develop product within your own team. Till next time, Corridor out.